What is up, Lincoln School? We are back, another workout video. Um, as you can see here, I've got my new Rams gear on. It just came in the mail. Um, super excited for that. You could also see I'm back in the flexibility corner here, getting ready for another workout. Um, these workouts were getting a little faster, right? Should be getting in a little bit of better shape. Um, just because of all the exercises that we have been doing. So hopefully uh, you're able to keep up with some of these workouts as we get a little faster. If not, that's okay. Just relax, make sure you have water. Uh, you can pause the video at any time if you need to take a break. Just remember um, to go at your own pace and not get too overworked uh, where you start to feel uncomfortable. All right, um, we're gonna get warmed up with our dynamic stretching, right? We always like to start with our dynamic stretches. First stretch we're gonna do, uh, is jumping jacks, not really a stretch, more of a dynamic type of exercise, movement exercise, but we're gonna do 25 jumping jacks, so let's get rolling. Ready? Let me just adjust my mat over here. Okay, 25 jumping jacks, count with me. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25, and relax. Okay, next dynamic stretch is the pendulum swing. Um, so for pendulum swings, what we're gonna do is we want our leg to kind of kick out to the side. We've done these a few times, where we almost try to like make it seem that we are uh, doing maybe a side pass in soccer. So for the pendulum swings, we're standing up, feet shoulder width apart, right? And we're just taking our one leg for this, in this case, our right leg now, and we're just kicking it out to the side, keeping the rest of our body still, keeping or kicking our right leg out, right to the side, out that way. Okay, we're gonna do 10, ready? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is good for balance, and it's also a good workout to get your hip warmed up. Left leg now going out to the side. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, and relax. All right, next warm up is front kicks. So, front kicks, another soccer type of uh, skill, right? By stepping and we're kicking our foot up in front of us like we would kick a soccer ball. Um, so, try to make sure that you're balanced, okay? Make sure that the other foot that's not kicking is, is really planted into the ground so you have really good balance when you do this, okay? Um, so, Pendulum swings, working on a side kick in soccer. Front kicks uh, will help stretch out our hamstrings, our hips, our lower half, uh, kind of get our core warmed up a little bit, while we also kind of um, work on some soccer skills like a front, a front kick, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna step back a little bit, make sure you have a little space in front. Take a step with your left foot, okay? Left foot and kick your right leg up and try to put your hand out and try to get your foot to kick that hand. Okay, not too hard. Obviously, you don't want to hurt yourself, but step, kick. This is a good warm up for your hips, hamstrings, core. All right, we're going to do 10 right leg, 10 on the left. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch it over to the other side now. Step kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine 
and 10, and relax. All right, we're gonna turn up the intensity a little bit with some heel kicks. Remember, heel kicks, we're trying to kick our toes with the back of our heel here, okay? We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Good, keep it going. Good job, keep it up, guys. 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one, and relax. Excellent, take a minute, relax for a sec. Heel kicks, great way to get our heart rate up. So whenever you wanna warm up before you do an activity, kinda of want your heart rate to get up a little bit, not so that you're really tired, just so that the blood is pumping in your body and you're ready to warm up and kind of work out for the day. Okay, uh, next dynamic stretch, we're gonna get right into arm circles. So our arms are gonna be straight out. And we're just doing small circles forward. Remember, not fast. You don't wanna do these fast. Get a little bigger. And all the way around. And relax, arms down. Okay, arms back out. Now we're going the other way, go backwards. Nice small circles backwards. Let's get a little bigger. And all the way around. And relax, all right. Take a sip of water, relax. We're going to get into our strength exercise. Okay, so first strength exercise today will be forearm push-ups. Um, so they're a little different than shoulder touches and they're a little different than just regular push-ups. So what we wanna do here is make sure that we're down on our forearms and then we're gonna stand up onto our hands or get up onto our hands, I should say. So watch me here, I'm try to get a good angle. So I'm in a push-up position on my forearms. This position is a plank position. So you can do this tight in your core like this and hold that. We've done that before. That's a good workout for your core, right? For our stomach or our abdominal muscles. Um, for this, so this, this, this forearm push-up, we're kind of getting a workout in with our abdominal muscles while we also get a little bit stronger in our triceps, the back of our arm. Um, our chest muscles, our back muscles, and these will all help us with um, our push-up skill, okay? So if you're struggling with push-ups, this is a great way to get a little bit better at that by doing forearm push-ups. All right, we're gonna do 10, okay? So you wanna be on your forearms, just like this, and go up to your hands, and back down to your forearms, just like this. Ready? One. Two, three, make sure you breathe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And relax. Nice job, guys. Um, so that's a great exercise if you're struggling with regular push ups. Instead of doing shoulder touches all the time, you can do those forearm um, push-ups. That's a great way to build up strength in the areas that you need to do push-ups. All right, so let's stand back up, do some leg exercises now, okay? The first exercise we're gonna do is reverse lunges. So for the reverse lunge, what we wanna do is it's, it's uh, usually a lunge is when you step forward and bend down low, come back up. Reverse lunge, is we're going backwards and down and back up. All right, so we're taking a step back, getting low to the ground. Try not to have this leg hit the ground, but get low and then come right back to where you started. Okay, we're gonna do 10 each leg. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch it over. Now we're going to do the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And relax. Nice job. Okay, let's go back down to the ground. We're gonna do two core workouts, right? Our abdominal muscles. We're gonna do two of those, and then we will get into our static stretching. So, these core workouts here, what we're gonna do first is leg raises. So, if you're on the ground, all you're gonna be doing is bringing your legs up as high as you can, almost so that your body forms an L. Okay, try to show you a better look. Almost so that your body forms like an L, just like this. Watch. Okay, see the L shape. Then you're gonna bring it down, but don't touch the ground, and come right back up to that L shape. All right, we're gonna do ten of those. This is a good workout for your core, or for your abdominal muscles, uh, specifically your lower abdominal muscles. Okay, ready? We're gonna do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job. All right, take a break because we're going to do another abdominal exercise. So I want to give you a chance to relax. If you see behind me, I've got the yoga posters up here in the gym. So if you, uh, if you're back at school, you come into the gym, a little different than last year. Um, last year we didn't really have this flexibility corner, but I've been doing a lot of yoga. And for a lot of you guys, um, maybe besides kindergarten, I've been posting a lot of yoga videos and, and kindergarten. I'm going to post those for you guys too. Um, but yoga is super important. It builds strength and flexibility, and it kind of gives you a chance to relax. Um, so I, I love yoga. I've really started to do that um, almost every day along with, you know, these, these strength exercises um, and kind of getting my heart rate up, doing some cardio. I think yoga has been a very big help. So I'd like to incorporate or put in some yoga uh, moves towards our static stretching. I think that'll be very, very good, very beneficial for us. So next and last strength exercise is going to be V-ups. Uh, V-ups are sort of like leg raises, except when your legs go up, your hands are going to come up too, and you're going to try to touch at the top. Difficult exercise, very, very good exercise though, okay? So this is instead of doing sit-ups. Uh, if you struggle with these, you can definitely do sit-ups instead. So what you want to do is legs come up, and your hands are going to come up, and you're going to try to touch at the top here. So when your legs and feet come up, you're going to try to touch like that. Just like that. Try to keep your legs as straight as possible. Very tough to do that. Even I bend my legs. But try to keep them as straight as possible. Okay? We're going to do 10. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. Those are a tough workout. Definitely. It's starting to sweat here in the gym. We got they got the heat pumping in here. All right. So let's get into some of our stretches. First stretch I want to do is a warrior two yoga pose. So this is a cool one. I like this a lot. 
Uh, very good stretch for our hips, legs, kind of just keeping our, our core strong. So for this stretch, what we want to do is you're going to, let me show you here, take a step, big step out in front, almost like a lunge. Your back foot, you're going to turn so that your face is facing this way and your other foot is facing this way. So they're going in different directions, okay? Now you're gonna to lean towards your front foot while keeping that back leg straight and really back there. And what you're gonna do is keep your, lift your arms up and hold this pose. We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Now to switch, Move this foot so that they're facing forward, and now move the other foot out. Bend towards that foot, arms up, warrior two. Count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and relax. All right, next yoga pose, tree pose. This is a great exercise for our shoulders and balance. Super important to be good at, you know, to be balanced. Um, helps you with your exercise, will help you play sports, will help you dance, will help you do so many things, gymnastics. Balance is, is crucial, very important. So for the tree pose, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your foot up, almost so that it's right by your knee, and your hands just go up in the air as high as they can. So it kind of looks knee up, hands up high. And you're going to count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Relax. Now switch legs. Leg up. Hands up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And relax. All right. Okay, next stretch I want to do is called downward dog. So for this stretch, this yoga pose, what you're going to do is you're going to go down like a push-up, okay? Just like a push-up. And, and then you're going to kind of bring your tush in the air a little bit so that you really feel a stretch down your hamstrings, which is the back of your leg, and your calf muscle there. So just like this. And you're going to hold it for 10 seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And relax. All right. Last stretch. We're going to end with the butterfly stretch for the inside part of our legs. So feet together. Try to push down your legs and count to 10. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Guys, great job today. We keep on getting good workouts in here. You guys keep making me proud. Um, I will see you guys later. Great job today.